Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video I'm going to talk about Qualcomm Quick Charging 4 which was recently announced by Qualcomm when they announced the new Snapdragon 835 uh, chipset and this Qualcomm Quick Charging 4 uh, supersedes the Quick Charging uh, 3 which was announced in 2016 and uh, this uh, technology will be available in 2017 and according to Qualcomm this Quick Charging 4 uh, brings about 20 percent faster charge and 30 percent it's more efficient compared to Qualcomm quick charging uh, 3 and according to Qualcomm is uh, you can get just about uh, five hours of battery life with just five uh, minutes of charging these are some of the marketing claims that Qualcomm is doing and another claim that they're doing is that with Qualcomm quick charging 4 you can get up to 50 percent of battery life with just 15 minutes of uh, charge and again these are sort of simulated uh, tests they said that uh, they tested it with a 2750 milliampere uh, battery and uh, they uh, essentially do this uh, due to improved dual charge uh, plus plus technology uh, which is uh, improvement over the existing uh, one that was used in Qualcomm quick charging uh, three and as you can see from this uh, chart it is due to the superior dual charge parallel technology known as dual charge plus plus and also the improved uh, new uh, Qualcomm based power management ICs and the chipsets that will support dual charge plus plus can take advantage of the same and snapdragon 835 will be the first processor to take advantage of these uh, technologies and thereby even though it's charging 20 percent faster it's 30 percent more efficient and uh, according to qualcomm uh, the device uh, will be cooler by about five degrees centigrade so it will not heat as much as the qualcomm quick charging 3 which is a good thing in my opinion and uh, qualcomm has also um, stated that they have added this new uh, intelligent negotiation for optimum voltage for extra safety actually they have added a bunch of safety features with this Qualcomm quick charging uh, 4 for example they, it has uh, three layers of overcharging protection and three layers of overcurrent protection and up to four layers for monitoring the temperature it constantly monitors the temperature thereby adjusting the voltage for optimum charge and again uh, the good thing is that now this uh, qualcomm quick charge 4 is uh, compiled with usb power delivery so it's a nice thing and now it's compiled with the uh, standard so now it is adhering to the standards the earlier version of qualcomm quick charging that's one two and three was sort of a little bit proprietary uh, so this is a nice thing and again it also adds a bunch of uh, battery saver stuff and it intelligently monitors the battery for getting better life uh, so what do i feel about this uh, qualcomm quick charging for i feel it's a good improvement on paper qualcomm says that uh, you should get about 20 percent uh, faster charging compared to qualcomm quick charging 3. Uh, practically i have be have both uh, qualcomm quick charge 2 and qualcomm quick charge 3 uh, chargers and some devices i didn't uh, see a huge bump when i moved from qualcomm quick charge 2 to qualcomm quick charge 3 but now as qualcomm says that this is almost 20 percent more uh, 30 percent more efficient and 20 percent faster than qualcomm quick charging 3. so uh, i would say if you already have a qualcomm quick charge 2 don't upgrade to the qualcomm quick charge 3 and just next year or uh, for quick uh, qualcomm quick charging 4 if your devices support that for example because we know that qualcomm quick charging 1 was not that fast but when Qualcomm quick charging 2 came, it was a real uh, good difference and you could easily uh, notice the difference in day to day uh, life. Uh, but I didn't notice that much of a huge difference with Qualcomm quick charging 3. But uh, I'm hoping the leap from Qualcomm quick charging 2 to Qualcomm quick charging 4 uh, will be a significant uh, difference. The thing is that as of now, Qualcomm has announced that uh, only the Snapdragon 835 chipset that's going to come out in 2017 will support the Qualcomm quick charging 4. But I'm pretty sure later on as the year uh, uh, moves ahead it will also come down to some of the mid-range chips like the 6x uh, range uh, so again guys uh, uh, that's it for now for this uh, qualcomm quick charging 4 and if you guys want to know more about uh, quick charging and how it charges the devices faster by manipulating the uh, current and the ampere age uh, again watch the other video that i made a couple of months ago link for that video will be in the youtube show notes so guys that's it for now for this video and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video